In other news today, the European Union has formally announced that it suspects X, previously known as Twitter, of breaching its rules in areas including countering illegal content and disinformation. The digital commissioner, Thierry Breton, set out the alleged infringements in a post on the social media platform. He said that X, which is owned by Elon Musk, is also suspected of breaching its obligations on transparency and in the design of its user interface. Well, watching the story from for us from uh, New York is our North America business correspondent, uh, Michelle Fleury. Michelle, uh, not the first time that obviously big uh, American tech giants fall foul of EU regulators. We know that since buying X, Elon Musk has been cutting lots of jobs in things like content moderation. I wonder, do you think is it fair to draw a link between that and this development? I mean, research has been done where they say that this sort of cutbacks to content moderation has resulted in a proliferation of hate speech. But here's the thing, you know, if you're Elon Musk or if you're ex, formerly known as Twitter, uh, what you consider to be speech that should be removed is very different to what researchers, and I think that's sort of at the heart of this. Um, but here we have the European Union, which has set up uh, this Digital Services Act, which is meant to try and kind of get to the heart of a problem of social media platforms putting out what is considered either disinformation or hate speech. Uh, and this is the first sort of implementation of that. You've got the commissioner, Thierry Breton, who essentially wants to be the digital policeman. Uh, and that's what we're seeing taking place here, trying to crack down on a company that the EU had already identified as possibly the worst uh, offender in this particular area already sort of earlier this year. Now they're basically following through on that now that the law has come into place. So what are the implications here? How important could this be for Musk or indeed for his stewardship of X? Well, I mean, this, this is a probe at this stage and the outcome is, is not known yet. And the things they're looking at is sort of how the company responds to illegal content on its site. Uh, it's looking at things like community notes, which is sort of one of the systems that X uses to try and kind of moderate content or, or, or sort of address, try and balance disinformation on its platform. The other areas it's looking at is things like the blue checks. Uh, that used to be a sign that it was a verified user of a politician or a celebrity. Now it's anyone who wants to pay for that. It's also looking at advertising. So it's pretty broad, this investigation. And I think both sides have a lot at stake here. For X, it's the potential, you know, huge potential for, for fines. Uh, and in fact, there was a report over the summer uh, in one American media insider saying that Musk might, it might even consider pulling out of the EU altogether. Uh, for the European regulators, this is the first test of these new rules. They're going to want to show it's got teeth and they can follow through.